Okay. Here we go. And here we stop. Here we go again. This is for September 12th, 2023. You are enjoying a day, afternoon, and your evening, wherever you are on the lovely planet Earth. And I'm extremely happy everybody is enjoying my life. Yesterday I did not get out. Uh, because it was in Niagara Falls, walking in Niagara Falls. And that video <laughs> will be up whenever it decides it wants to be up. For some reason, I'm having the hardest time rendering it. And I literally took all of yesterday just about to try to render it. And it still stupidly is not rendered. To which point, I will now have to question said software I am using. My next question is, where is the traffic for Niagara Falls Boulevard? It is literally nowhere to be seen. There's nothing behind me, and there's not too much in front of me, if anything at all. Everybody actually must be at work today. Okay. Normally when we're out here, or I'm out here in this case, because I'm the only one here, there's always somebody somewhere on the IWP. Not right now. I have to admit, when there is no traffic on this lovely board, I kind of question what is life? Because a street without traffic to me, anywhere on the lovely third rock from the sun, it, uh, it, it it's very confusing to me. So, that is my discussion as of right now for this right along. What do you think of the this randomness of no traffic? It still shocks me. You to expect to see somebody somewhere on, for me, in my area particularly, this boulevard. And yes, it's not the most traffic trafficked. I'm going trafficked. Uh, boulevard in western New York, but it is definitely one, usually, of the boulevards except for on the rare occasions like this so I think I kind of confused myself on that my bad
But I think everybody understands what I'm trying to say. There's some traffic. Not much. Everybody must be at work. At, or at school. Or wherever they need to be because certainly not on the NFB. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Which is pretty interesting because I was 117, 115 a few days ago, and I'm up to 122. And the race is on between myself and another YouTubing friend. Both racing to get to 500. Yeah, I think he's... We... He was... Way on the front right now. me for quite a bit. And then... Now we'll just keep being neck and neck. So... We're doing something right. It's, it, it's gonna be an interesting race to uh, finish. Where'd that garbage truck go? Oh, I'm way back there. Huh. Let's have a little load. Okay, the wire is right next to me. Oh, we have a guy in front of it. Sorry, I'm looking at my other mirror. I was trying to figure out where the garbage truck went because it was there right next to me for a moment and now it's way back. And we got another stupid red light. Oh, fun! That one gray vehicle just got off the other gray vehicle. Lovely gem. Now I have to admit that exercise of walking the falls over the past weekend, weekend of September 9th and 10th, was really awesome. Loved it. It was worth the travel to there. Uh, okay, let's go see how busy this is. I'm probably going to spend maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes at the gym today. I just like, I want to get out of the house, that's just why I actually came to the gym. It wasn't really the exercise, but... Alrighty, we are done. Well, I'm done with this lovely workout for the day. And I'm heading home for the day. Well, now I still have to go out with my mom to grocery shop, but overall, I'm done. Huh. My one daily outing, not obviously two, but for me, just me. I'm done. 
ended up uh, unfortunately having a coughing fit during said workout. I'm like, good lord, you know, or any of the holy people for that matter, but still, it's like, what is life? And my next question is, why? It's so stupid. No, it, it, it's weird because I, seriously, you're going to do that? Thank you for stopping. Thank you for stopping. So, where was that? It's weird that I can't now get a full one and a half to two hour workout in. Even with taking my morning meds and my inhaler. Oh, score that one. So, yeah, I'm really not upset. I'm really confused. So, I'm going to go home and, if I remember, write an email to my doctor. <coughs> because this is just too weird. So... Uh, I'm not even tired because I couldn't even get the full workout in. Whereas I would be exhausted and not talking much. But because of the coughing fit during the workout, no. I definitely felt good during, or beyond the coughing fit, I felt good during it. I felt like I got a good workout in. Um, I didn't get, like I'm repeating myself now, I didn't get the whole workout in. So hopefully Thursday I'll be able to get the rest of the workout in, but I already have different plans on Thursday and tomorrow I want to get back to the gym, but I'm not 100% sure if that's going to happen. I've got uh, that two doctor's appointments, both regarding my head, actually. Um, one for psychology and counseling, counseling, the other of being uh, concussion. So both head doctors in complete opposite directions of each other. <clears throat> oh, man. I mean, beyond the coughing fit, I'm good. I feel fine. And I keep checking my, uh, uh, eyes, the, around my eyes, because with asthmatics, um, if you don't know, dark circles means, around the eyes, means that we as asthmatics are not getting enough oxygen to our lungs. So, in hindsight, that part is okay. I mean, when I had COVID and I was working out, before I knew I had COVID, I looked at my eyes and noticed I was really, really more exhausted than I usually am. So, presumptually, if I am really tired just from energy and the workout, it won't be as dark, but if something is wrong asthmatically other than my usual asthmatic uh, situation, then yeah, that is cause for concern, but as of right now, no, at least not to me. But others may have uh, difference of opinions, of course, which is fine. So, yeah, that's my asthmatic story. How are you doing on this lovely day on planet Earth? Hope you are enjoying it. If you have asthma and you've noticed some stuff, what have you been doing? Uh, trying to do to feel better 
the doctors actually changed some of my medication too for the better, hopefully. But I just started it uh, you know, about two weeks ago. So. I think I still have time to kick in. I went from Ad Advary to uh, one of the new meds for asthma, of course. So. Actually, it, it completely changing the subject here. I'm actually getting better at talking on the video, so. That's kind of cool. Thanks for everybody for uh, watching the Niagara Falls ride along. That was fun. I quite enjoyed it. It's one of my favorites thus far in the ride along series. Right now we are going to Rite Aid because the last couple of days of this our not our uh, my and my family's Rite Aid is closing. September 14th, so in a couple of days. I just want to see if they have any signage or advertisements for sales. So we'll see. We'll find out. If so, awesome. If not, you know, it's not my choice to sell stuff. But ironically, I've run into a lot of uh, businesses in the last couple of years that don't sell their advertisements. And that's unfortunate because those are our in my opinion, pieces of history. For stories that are going out of business, they are pieces of history. And it's very upsetting to me as a amateur historian who loves history to see advertisements and uh, paper ads go in the garbage And take up space. You have to stop, lady. Sorry, I'm backseat driving while I'm driving. That's kind of redundant there. Oops. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish stores would not. Is that a raindrop? Did I completely ADD on some other topic? Uh, back to the stores. I wish stores would not and could not throw out their advertisements and signage and whatever the case may be. Because the nostalgia for physical things is skyrocketing in the digital age, number one. And number two, even though it should be a number one, Everything is ending up in landfills and taking up space in landfills. So, in the grand scheme of things, throwing your advertisements and all that stuff away is not helping to reduce, reuse, and recycle stuff as a whole. So, that's a problem. That is a problem beyond me being an amateur historian. That's like, no. Don't throw it out, give it to folks, or have folks like me buy it from you so it does not end up in the garbage. So, alright. Why is a UPS at the right aid? That's interesting. It's like, how many packages do they have coming out? They're leaving in a couple of days. Well, I know. I want those advertisements in the windows. That would be cool. Let's go see if I can get some of those. Hello everybody. So 
going off the previous discussion of throwing things out be the three R's for the environment, but it is throwing all their advertisements out. And again, the second store in a matter of a couple years, if not a couple months, is doing the uh, world a no bit of good for someone that wants to keep people healthy. She doesn't want to keep the planet healthy, which completely sucks. Uh, okay. On uh, another topic, look at that gigantic black cloud heading in our direction. I don't expect storms, but uh, obviously not the case. And that is one gigantic cloud. Hopefully it's just a passing cloud. All right. 20 we go. I'm just disappointed that um, stores are just throwing out stuff that people want. I think it's the stupidest thing to happen. There's no reason for it. I would literally buy all that advertisement and not have to end up in a landfill. But I'm trying to keep stuff out of the environment, or yeah, out of the environment, out of the landfills. You can't knock me for not trying. Wow, that is a ch Oh, I'm over the gigantic cloud right now. It's about to get interesting. Well, to me, if you're a weather nut like me and love the... And it's part of the environment, too, so it goes hand in hand, in my opinion. Or is... is Oh, she's, I, yeah. I just, I, my brain is, like, racked with my health and the stupidity of corporations. It's so dumb. And I have to go to Walgreens to see if they're going to be stupidly throwing out their advertisements and stuff. So, yeah. A lot of dumbness heading, heading in... The landfills, honestly. I, I am right over this cloud right now, everybody. That's pretty fascinating. Oh, we are right over it completely. I don't like being caught in rainstorms like driving, but I do love to watch it from a distance or from an inside of something, whether it be a vehicle or not. For those that are in the Western New York area, there are only two more weeks of the World Circus Show here in lovely North Carolina, New York. China Wheatfield, whatever the hell it is, I always forget. North Carolina mailing address, I think that's why I call it the way I do. In any event, Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.